Kitronic Inventors Kit for the BBC Microbit Experiment 4. In this experiment, we'll be using the Microbit to control the speed of this motor. At the moment, you can see it's spinning quite quickly. If I reset the Microbit, we'll start from scratch. So when I turn it on, you we'll see the motor's stopped and it gradually starts spinning. And then what's happening now is the motor is increasing in speed. It will do that until it gets to its maximum speed and then it will start to decrease again back down to the point where it stopped and it will repeat again so it will get faster maximum speed and back down to stop. And the way it's doing this is that the micro bit is putting out a PWM signal, that's a pulse width modulation. So if you can imagine the voltage out the pick is off and then it's on for a period, off again, on for a period, off again. And the amount of time it spends on determines how fast the motor is spinning. If it's on all the time, it will be spinning at maximum speed. If it's off all the time, it will be stopped, like you can see now. Now, the circuit uses a transistor, which we can see just here. This is because the microbit itself can't deliver enough power to spin the motor. So what we're doing is using the transistor to allow us to provide more power. So it switches on the power that's been delivered here through this red wire from the 3.3 volt output on the micro bit. So the transistor switches that on by this transistor and turns the motor on. And that's how it works. The things to be careful of are really around this terminal block. The terminal block connects the wires from the motor into the breadboard. And the things you want to be careful of are ensuring that when you screw the terminal block onto the wire that you actually screw onto the exposed bit of wire and not the insulation around the outside which means it won't make a connection if you do that. The other thing is that the terminal block itself can cover the pins that connect to the breadboard so it can be quite easy to misalign these jumper connections so I suggest you take good care when lining these up. But there you go, so that's experiment four for the BBC Microbit. For more accessories and project ideas for the BBC Microbit, please visit kitronic.co.uk.